Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel and for watching this video. Today, we're gonna talk about single and double hauling. Why is that important when casting? Whenever you have a wind, you wanna be able to generate enough line speed to cut that line through the wind. And with this technique, you should still be able to cast 40 to 50 feet into a very stiff wind. All right, let me show you the technique called double and single hauling. All right, today we're gonna to talk about single and double hauling and casting into a wind. And perfect day for it. It's actually kind of windy. It's blowing about 10 miles an hour, which isn't too bad, but still any wind can interfere with the casting and the fly presentation. So I'm gonna show you a technique on getting the line and cutting it right straight into the wind. And I'm casting directly into this wind. All right, so again, hold your rod, thumb on the cork. You've got about, I don't know, 40, 50 feet of line out from the reel. You have at least a full rod length, full of floating line in front of the tip of the rod. All right, ready to begin. So, again, the basic casting rule still applies, right? No further back than two o'clock, no further forward than 10, and a nice even cadence. All right, so let's start letting a little bit of line out. I'm holding it with my left hand. Letting a little line out as the rod loads up, going backwards and forwards. Now, I'm gonna speed up and generate more line speed by taking my left hand, keeping the line tight as it's going back, and I'm gonna pull down on the line as I pull back on the rod. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull back down on the line while I load the rod forward. So again, when you're lifting the rod up, you're pulling down at the same time, holding the line tight. The line and the rod is back, and now I'm gonna do the same thing again, moving forward. And that generates a lot of extra line speed because it puts that pressure on the rod, the rod's bending back and wants to shoot that line forward. It's great for cutting into the wind. So we'll get some more line out and demonstrate again. So watch my left hand holding on to the line. I'm pulling down as I'm raising the rod up. And now I'm doing the same thing again on the way forward. And then right when you get to where you want to let the line loose and it shoots way forward. So let's kind of show you in real time here. Watch my left hand. That is double hauling. And that line shot out about 60 feet just on that one pull. All right, so I've shown you double hauling. Let me show you what single hauling is. Now, single hauling is very similar to double hauling, except you're only making that motion and creating uh, line speed either in the beginning of the cast or towards your back cast shooting it forward. Let me demonstrate. So you have again, you have about a rod length of, of uh, line in front of your rod tip. You got plenty of line off your reel. So what you want to do is as you're lifting the fly line up to cast, you simultaneously with your left hand that's holding the fly line, pull down. And what that does, it immediately generates line speed and tension on the rod that quickly throws the line behind you. Let me demonstrate. So you can see I'm lifting the rod and I'm pulling down quickly and then letting it go. Pulling down quickly and then bringing it back forward again. That is a single haul. You can also perform a single haul on the back cast. So if you brought it back up without using a haul. When it's back, now you pull it forward to shoot that line out. That is also a single haul. So again, double hauling is when you do both on the back cast and forward. Single haul is when you either haul it as you pick up the line and then shoot it forward, or you bring it back and then haul it forward. All right, well, hopefully that makes sense. So just keep practicing both single and double hauling, and that'll help you shoot the line out 
on these windier days.